G'day mate, let's go fuck that kangaroo over there. Oh we can't, I just fucked that kangaroo over there. <laughs> oh boy, I go like to the gym every fucking day, that's why I'm so fucking ripped, just look at my fucking muscles bro. I'm so fucking ripped though. Oh bro, I, I don't even take any steroids. I mean I just inject a few, but th it doesn't really count because it's like a small amount every time I inject. And I don't even inject it into my fucking arm bro, I don't even know why I did this, I inject it into my fucking ass bro. Like, I don't just, like, inject roids into my, into my fucking ass and just not work out. I work out like a fucking motherfucker. Like, I lift, like, two kilogram weights and I'm, like, as big as fucking, uh, people who lift fucking 50 kilogram weights. It's fully sick, bro. Oh, yeah, can't gonna have a fucking sesh, bro. Fuck yeah. Okay, so, so you want some, uh, fish? With uh, dim sims, or do I like that? With chicken salt or plain salt? Chicken salt? Okay. One by the fish, please. I'll get your dim sim soon. Yeah. So I finished year twelve uh, when I was sixteen, and I went straight to uni, and it was pretty awesome. You know, I met a lot of girls. Uh, I, I slept with a few of them. Uh, a lot of them still have a huge crush on me to this day, mate. It's it's just amazing. I studied law, English, mathematics, a few different things. Um, I don't think my father's overly fond of the fact that I'm smarter than him now. Uh, but, you know, my parents, they split up when I was very young, so they don't really get along. Uh, my mum actually has an AV army dad. It's quite amazing. My little sister, she's one of those stereotypical 14-year-olds, you know. She started cutting herself when uh, Zayn Malik left One Direction. To be honest, I just think that's that's stupid. That's just something wrong with her. In fact, there's something wrong with all people who self-harm. They're just not right in the head. I just hope that they never have kids because their stupidity is going to pass on. Oh yeah, then there's also my younger brother, uh, Luke. He's a, he's a bit of a, a meth addict, he's in high school, he's in year 9, uh, he, 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 he's highly addicted to meth, uh, and he likes to sometimes mix it with his marijuana when he does a sesh with the boys at the um, bong shack in Morrisette, New South Wales, Australia, and um, it's quite interesting, a lot of people go there to smoke weed and... You never hear about any police officers going there to check on him. But yeah, my brother Luke, he um, he he does um a lot of um a lot of different drugs. He recently got out of a cocaine addiction. I really hope he gets his head clear when he's older. You know, gets off the drugs, gets a good job, meets a nice girl, gets married, has some kids. But I don't see it happening anytime soon. Also, he is currently in uh, juvie. And someone's calling me. Jesus fucking Christ. Thank you for calling Terrestra Indian phone lines. How may I direct your call? Hello. Uh, what kind of Optus phone would you like? Oh wait, this is Telstra. Never mind. I am currently filming a video for um for YouTube for my private YouTube account. It's Taser, everyone. Beg pardon? Uh no no I'm actually filming this phone call as we speak. But don't worry, Taser, you are not on loudspeaker. You will only see me take maybe one or two shots at a club, but bro. When I, when I drink, you don't even fucking see it because of how fucking fast I drink it, bro. Like, I have fucking, a fucking 35 standard drinks, bro. Oh, bro, I'll fucking down a fucking old bottle of fucking vodka, bro. Oh, it's fully sick. And I'm like, not even that fucking drunk, eh? No, I, I don't get drunk. Nah, bro, I'm not a fucking lightweight, bro. Bro, I make the Irish people look like fucking white, white weights. <laughs> Zane left one direction! <laughs> Cut for people! Justin stop smoking weed! <laughs> yeah, so I use this a lot to self-harm. 
because, you know, sometimes I get depressed, so I feel like cutting myself. I mean, I'd consider killing myself too, but, um, uh, not enough people are ignoring me for me to do that. My parents and my family, they still care about me. So, you know, I, I can't kill myself just yet. Also, I haven't found out whether or not that guy like likes me. So I still don't know if I should kill myself yet. So I'm just going to keep cutting myself. Uh, and all these scars I have, they're like, um, let's see, let's see. Uh, this one's because... Um, the guy I used to like when I was 12 didn't like me. He was 16, he had a car, he was on his L's. And this one, this scar right here, I'm not going to show you because I don't want to get this flagged for gore. But this one here uh, is because <clears throat> uh, the teacher wouldn't give me an A. She only gave me a C on my... Um, on my exams in mathematics. I mean, I still passed, but I didn't get an A like I wanted. So I decided to cut myself to get back at her. She probably doesn't even know about it, but you know, if she finds out, oh, that'll show her. Fuck yeah. And um, I, I have tried committing suicide numerous times. You know, I, I mean, I wasn't actually trying. I just wanted to make it look like I was trying to get people to, you know, feel sorry for me, give me free shit. Uh, you know, give me food, buy me food, buy me lunch, you know, just the thing that a lot of people my age do, you know, listen to Blood on the Dance Floor, listen to Black Veil Brides, listen to Asking Alexandria, Sleeping with Sirens, Falling in Reverse, you know, bands like that, I listen to a lot of them, a lot of my friends listen to them too, you know, they have the emo hair, uh, they have all the uh, wristbands, they have all the band merch, they get the clothes at Hot Topic. It's just amazing how so many friends can just listen to the same bands, you know? Like, I'm in the BVB army and it's just amazing. You see that? That's like the BVB logo. See? Yeah, the BVB logo, Black Veil Brides. I love Black Veil Brides. I really do love them. I like, I cut my, I used to cut, I used to commit suicide or try to commit suicide at least. But now that I listen to them, they saved my life and I only self-harm now. Oh, and more things about me being, um, like me self-harming when I was younger. You see, I, I also have bipolar. I was once raped. Um, you know, because... It's totally like, it's totally uh, possible that I was raped, you know. I have saggy tits and I don't, and I have a bony ass. So someone would totally want to rape me, you know. I mean, they don't want them uh, juicy asses or ginormous boobs. I mean, that's just too much to handle. So, you know, it's completely plausible that I was raped um, by uh, my best friend's uh, next door neighbor when I was younger. I'll tell you something, mate. It's not easy being wheezy, you know what I'm saying? I don't, I, I don't actually need to uh, go to school. You see, I already learned this shit on the street and from TV. And uh, I wag school all the time. And, well, the teachers, they don't teach me shit anyway. I go to a shit fucking school. So, like, I figured, why waste my time there? Uh, so I just wag school. I just spend my time uh, having a sesh with my, with me mates. You know, uh, smoke, smoking some fucking cones, uh, doing a few bongs, uh, you know, it's fully sick. You know those homemade bongs that you can make out of, a, 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 a like, a, a Powerade bottle? Like, put in a bloody, uh, a piece of, like, the hose from, like, a water hose for your garden, and then, like, cut up a piece of, uh, V-can and turn it into, like, a cone as the cone piece, because if you use plastic, uh, the fumes can give you cancer and shit. Uh, when you heat up the plastic. So, um, I just put in, like, the homemade comb piece in the uh, pipe, put the pipe into the homemade bung, fill the bung up with water, <coughs> put the weed in the comb piece, get out me mate's lighter, and, uh, you know, I just start, uh, I just start bloody doing the bong, man. It's, uh, it's bloody amazing. I remember this one time I got high. Uh, my, my, my ex-girlfriend, she was, like, um, she was there, 
and uh, we ended up like, <laughs> bro, she gave me a fucking head job right there while it was high, it was fucking amazing, getting a blowjob, um, like, you have not lived until you have gotten a fucking blowjob while your ex-girlfriend is sucking your dick, it's just bloody amazing. <laughs> Good day, mate. I'm a fucking bag with an accent more stereotypical than Paul Hogan's. Sniff metho, drink goon, smoke a bong, it's my slogan. Uh, I dropped out of school and you're right, cause I'm a fucking slow cunt. Did you just say something about me, mum? You wanna fucking go, mate? Come on, fucking go, me cunt. Bro, I will beat the fucking shit out of you, mate. Come on, mate. Give it your best, mate. Fucking hell, mate, I will beat the shit out of you so fucking bad, mate, that you won't be able to wake up in the morning because you've been a fucking coma in the hospital. Mate, just fucking watch your mouth in the future. Don't fucking talk to me like that, okay? Okay, now get the fuck up. I already punched you in the face once. Stand the fuck up. I'm buying you a beer. Yeah, we good? We good? Awesome. Bro, did you just fucking talk shit about me? Bro, I will fucking get my 50 cousins from Sydney to come down here and beat the fucking shit out of you, bro. Oh, and you want to know what else, bro? Fuck them. I know, like, three different biking gangs, and they're not afraid to fucking kill people for me. Bro, I will beat the fucking shit out of you so fucking badly that you won't even be able to fucking breathe because you'll be fucking dead, cunt. You fucking hear me, bro? Bro? Oh, bro. I will. Oh, bro. You just fucking did it now. You just fucking did it. Oh, bro. I can't even believe you would fucking say that shit, eh? Oh, uh, dude, what the fuck is wrong with you, bro? Oh, bro, what the fuck? Oh, <clears throat> oh, fuck yeah, mate. Oh, I remember this one time I was having a sesh with me cunts. Oh, fuck yeah, it was fucking golden, mate. Oh, oh, this fucking cunt came up to us, mate, and, oh, uh, oh, he was being a fucking cunt, so I fucking shanked him. Oh, bro, I used this fucking knife to shank him, bro. I can't believe he would fucking say shit about me, mum, eh? Oh, uh, he was saying that he fucked me, mum, last night. And you know what? I just fucking stabbed the shit out of him, cunt. Like, what the fuck? Who the fuck says that about your mum, mate? Like, what the fuck, you fucking cunt? I'll fucking kill you if you say that shit about me, mum, again. Oh, fuck, you're already dead. I fucking stabbed you. Oh, fuck. Jesus fucking Christ. Oh, fuck. Oi, Todd! Todd, help me bury this cunt. He fucking said shit about me mum and he was saying shit about your auntie too. Fucking help me fucking bury the cunt, mate. Fuck, I don't want the coppers finding this dead cunt and thinking we're the ones who killed him. That's right, you were fucking here. You you saw me do it. You fucking helped me by law. I'll fucking tear your ass up if you say otherwise, cunt. Fuck yeah. What's the difference between... Usain Bolt and Adolf Hitler. Usain Bolt knows how to finish a fucking race, mate. Fuck yeah. Fuck yeah. Fuck yeah, cunt. Fuck yeah.